नंबर फाइव ऑन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स मशीनरी अकाउंट शोज अ बैलेंस ऑफ सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इन द बुक ऑफ मेहता लिमिटेड ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व द मशीन वॉज परचेज फाइव ईयर बैक टिल टूडे टोटल डेप्रिसिएशन राइट ऑफ ऑन मशीन वॉज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ऑन वन वन टू थाउजेंड सो टिल हियर टिल ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज ऑल अबाउट द फर्स्ट मशीनरी and they have given the balance not the cost price and this is going to be on the straight line method so this will be quite calculative then on the same year on the next year on 11 2014 second machine has been purchased for rupees 12000 and was found not suitable so it has been sold at 10% loss of book value on 31st december which will be most probably will be moved to the next year so every year company provide depreciation at 5% under straight line method from the above information prepare machinery account depreciation account in the book of company up to 31st march 2015 so from 12 to 15 we are going to prepare machinery account here all the information which is quite important to be highlight which has been written beforehand before the solution which will be helpful for you to understand the dates and for the calculation of the amount so let's start with the first machinery which has been shown a balance for the machinery account so here we will first start 1st april 2012 to balance brought forward as we have the balance of this 60000 then here we'll calculate depreciation 31st march 2013 for the first machinery but before we calculate before we write down an amount first we need to make a calculation on it as cost price is not given and under straight line method we need to calculate on cost price so here we'll first take assume a cost price as 100 and as the machine has been purchased 5 year back so 5 years mach of machine and the 10% depreciation must be sorry 5% depreciation has been calculated so here comes 25 so 25% depreciation is already calculated so the remaining value is remain with the company so 75% is the balance which has been given in the question that is 75% That is sixty thousand balance for hundred percent. How much? Make a cross multiplication. Hundred multiplied by sixty thousand divided by seventy five. Here we got the value eighty thousand. So five years back, the machine's value must be eighty thousand. This is also the same method which I shown you before, and I want to show you one more method as the depreciation write off is also given. If we add sixty thousand. that is the balance amount of machine plus the depreciation write off 20000 by adding them also we get directly the value of 80000 this is the method which i shown you for the last question as well so i repeat the same method for you so here we got the cost price of the machine that is 5 years back so here we'll calculate depreciation on 80000 5% depreciation here we get 4000 for the first machine so the depreciation for the first machine is 4000 as the one year is complete we can see debit side it is 60000 and credit side it is 4000 so comparatively 60000 is more we'll write both the side 60000 get minus with 4000 here the value remain is 56000 which would be shown as a closing balance for the year that is on 31st march 2013 the next year on 1st april 2013 opening balance for this machine will be continue with the 56000 on 31st march 2013 here again if we calculate depreciation for the first machinery again we'll repeat 4000 as per the straight line method at the same time we'll also check the machine has been purchased in this year that is on 1114 so if you check properly from 1413 to 31st march 2014 the machine has been purchased in this year 
that is on 1st January 2014. So the machine price of second machine is 12,000. No extra expense is given. So directly we can write down with the bank account 12,000. So here if we calculate depreciation for the first machine, sorry for the second machine, which was purchased on 1114 and calculating depreciation on 31st March 2014. So only for three months. So first we'll take the purchase price of the second machinery that is 12,000. Calculate, calculate 5 percent depreciation and have to calculate for 3 months that is 150 so from 1st January till 31st March 2014 here the depreciation of the second machinery will be 150 that's it the end of the year will make the total of both the side here we find 68,000 and here 4,150 which is less compared to debit side. So we will write down 68,000 both the side and get minus with 4,150. Here we will get the difference of 63,850 which will be written as 31st March 2014 closing balance which will become opening balance for the next year that is 1st April 2014 sorry 1st April 2014 to balance brought forward that is 63,850 as per the question we are not selling first machinery the first machinery depreciation will be continued with the amount 4,000 so by depreciation for the first machine which will be continued for the third year as well that is 4000 and as per the question the second machine is going to be sold at 10 percent lost on 31st december so here we'll first calculate depreciation for the second machinery which is going to be sold on 31st december so here we'll write down 31st December 2014 I'm just going to write again 31st December 2014 by depreciation for the second machinery first we'll take the second machinery cost price that is 12,000 and this depreciation is going to be calculated from 1st April 2014 to 31st December 2014 so April May June July August September October November December that is for nine month five person for nine month remember for the month you have to keep 12 it is 450 so here first we'll write down second machinery depreciation 450 as this machine is going to be sold, the second machine is going to be sold. The first we will remove the calculation for the second machinery. Here is the calculation of second machinery. The machine has been purchased on 1st January 2014 with the value of 12,000. On 31st March 2014, the depreciation has been calculated 150 for the 3 months and the value remain is 11,850 which was become an opening for the next year that is 1st April 2014 after writing opening before we sell we remove the depreciation till the month it was with the company so from april to Dece uh, till december it was nine month with the company so on, as per nine months we just now calculate a depreciation which has been get minus so that is the another depreciation which get minus and we the remaining value is 11400 on this 11400 will remove 10% loss the sold of second machine at 10% loss if we remove 10% on it we'll get the value that is just a calculation 1140 10% loss so the machine has been sold 
by ten thousand two hundred and sixty, which will be money comes in. So we'll write down bank account. This bank account will be written on the credit side of the machinery account by writing thirty first December on the selling date by bank account ten thousand two hundred and sixty. And as we face a loss on this machinery, which will be kept on the credit side again. By writing thirty first December two thousand fourteen by P and L and write down loss with the amount one thousand one hundred and forty. So here we complete the calculation. Now we'll make the total of both the side. So here I found the total of debit side is sixty three thousand eight hundred and fifty, whereas on the credit side it is fifteen thousand eight hundred and fifty, which is comparatively less. So we'll write down the sixty-three thousand eight hundred and fifty on both the side. Get minus with fifteen thousand eight hundred and fifty. You will find the balance of forty-eight thousand, which will be shows as a closing balance. That is on thirty-first March two thousand fifteen by balance CF. So after finishing machinery account, we are just going to copy in the depreciation only the depreciation amount out of it. As we all know, depreciation is calculated on thirty first March. So just take the thirty first March two thousand thirteen, the first year date, where we calculate depreciation only on one machine, that is four thousand. So here comes machinery account on the debit side. And here, profit and loss account. As we, at the end of the year, we pass entries to the annual account in profit and loss. And if you check both the side, the amount got tally. So no closing balance for the depreciation account. On the next year, that is next year ending on thirty first March two thousand fourteen, where if we check the depreciation, that is four thousand plus fifty of the second machinery. So it is. Four thousand one hundred and fifty. Again, we'll write down machinery account, and on the credit side, profit and loss account with four thousand one hundred and fifty. Again, it will get tally with the amount four thousand one hundred and fifty at both the side. Last year, which will be end up on thirty first March two thousand fifty. If we check the depreciation, four thousand of first machinery and second machinery, four fifty together, it is four thousand four hundred and fifty. On thirty first March two thousand fifteen, by profit and loss account, four thousand four hundred and fifty. Again, it get tally, so no closing or opening balance comes in the depreciation account. So here we complete machinery account, depreciation account. That's a calculation for the depreciation. That was the another method which I showed you. The same method which I continue with the last video as well. And here is the second machinery depreciation. Let me know if you have any queries.